Morning everybody. Now this wasn't really a big plan video or anything, I didn't have like a big thought about it. I was actually just doodling in my sketchbook a bit earlier today and I was just trying to work out a way of drawing people that felt more comfortable for me, like a, a newer simplified style and I ended up drawing this girl which I'm showing now and I just really liked the look of her and I thought I want to make this a little bit bigger and go into a bit more detail and kind of like take this a bit further so I just wanted to show briefly at the beginning of this video how I did that. So I took the sketch that I had in the sketchbook and I scanned that in and then I took it into Photoshop and I moved around like certain proportions, I squeezed it here, did that, I just transformed the image a little bit in Photoshop and then increased the size of it so that I could take it onto the light box and do it in a much larger version. So once I did that I took it over to the light box and I just used it as a guide to draw from. It was a really nice excuse to use that food in a suitcase brush pen and it just gives me a nice chance to practice with it on a drawing that's not as big because I have a much larger piece that I'm working on this week that I'll make a video for. Hopefully it'll come out next week and I just didn't want to go into that without getting my head around the pen a bit more I guess. I thought it looked a little bit too much like the yellow jersey that you get in Tour de France or it did to me at least and that wasn't really the kind of look I was going for for this character but uh... Hey, wait a minute let's reverse that video back <laughs> This is so weird Back when I was painting this, I noticed that there was this little black spot right after I'd done the yellow and I thought, how did I do that? I don't even have the black ink out. But I thought, I'll just look back on the footage later on and see where I, I must have flicked something, I must have done something. I thought maybe there had been black pen on there originally and maybe the yellow ink had made that fan out. But if you look at the footage, it just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> it's unbelievable, it's, it's the creepiest thing. So yeah, after I noticed this black spot, I was like, Ugh. you know, now I don't want to do a lighter colour. I ended up going down to a darker red in the end because I felt the black spot was a little bit too noticeable and I had no idea how I'd made that mistake. <laughs> Looking back, I didn't, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> so if you have any theories on what I did to make that black spot suddenly appear without touching the paper, then leave your ideas in the comments. So yeah, that's it for today. Just a small video and kind of giving a taster for possibly how I'm going to approach some future illustrations. I hope you're all doing well and I look forward to see you again soon.